Hey, 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 what's up? Welcome to Dharma Time. I'm your host, the Dharma Guy, here with uh, uh, the Dope Doctor as well, as usual. He, <laughs> for those of you who are listening uh, online at the moment and not watching via Facebook, uh, we almost missed the cue to start our show. <coughs> so it's a good thing we're starting a new year off right. I was distracting you. Yes, you were. You're very distracting. Yep. I didn't. Uh, did I even do the intro right? I didn't say. Uh, did I say WPSN99.com? The Problem Solving Network. <laughs> yeah, where we stream solutions. There you go. Um. Anyways, I digress. It is the first uh, first show of the new year, man. How you doing? How's your, how was your New Year's? How was your Christmas? And stuff? Brother, man, mine was great. Uh, well, New Year's I always just chill, you know. So yes, so we I, don't. Uh, I don't I, do. I live a very new old year's. man lifestyle for New Year's. Right. I kind of hang out at the house. Um, I actually, you know what? Uh, not to. To mm-hmm. go too far off right. base, we're still talking about New Year. Right. So my my neighborhood, right? Um, I live in a very interesting neighborhood. It's om- it's almost all Hispanic, so they're always partying yeah. all the time. Which right. is you saw there's cars everywhere in my neighborhood. Yeah, there's like time. a million cars in the neighborhood. But the cool part though is during holidays, like New Year's, I don't have to buy any fireworks. I literally just sit out my front yard, and it's like uh, the greatest show on earth. Really? I'm s- literally surrounded by. You haven't come to my house. Uh, dude, I'm surrounded by by fireworks, like the ones that go up, and, like the big ones. Yeah. Um. But the funny part though is half my New Year's is spent making fun of my dogs, because you I, make fun of your dogs. I do. Okay. I've got a video of him as well. I have okay. to show him to you later. Uh-huh. So I have a, a little tiny Jack Russell. Yeah. Don't judge. It's for the yeah. kids. Uh, for little, the kids. <laughs> a little Jack Russell, but he's got like balls of steel, bro. You're overcompensating <laughs> because you're a big guy. Exactly. You, you um, want to be smaller, but you're not. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. I want to be tiny. Yeah. Um, but anyways, no. So the Jack Russell is insane. Yeah. Like he chases fireworks. No. He chases the the, the fire. He uh, the fireworks are going off. He's bar- He's just losing his mind yeah. trying to attack everything. And then I have a, like a seventy some pound pit bull mm-hmm. that is cowering in the corner, terrified, oh, that's hilarious. shaking, and and just won't budge. It's that so yes, I spend half my time making fun of my dogs. He one hates dog, your neighborhood. One then. dog is a disappointment, <laughs> and the other dog is like is like way too crazy. But anyways, uh, I digress. It was a good it was a good ho- uh, uh, holiday. Katie says she has the same thing. I don't know if she's saying that she has a Jack Russell or she has Jack Russell and a pig. Or she has a dog that is terrified of fireworks. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe. And my wife has tried everything. My wife has tried to put like comfort stuff things on mm-hmm. him, giving him p- nothing works. He's mm-hmm. just a big pussy cat. Anyways, um, so. New Year, right? So uh, New Year, uh, man. Let's go ahead and jump right into 2019. The topic. It is. Uh, let's jump right into the topic, everybody. All right. So, have you done any work this year? Have I done work? Yeah. Have you worked? Define. Is this, the, is this your first day of work? <laughs> define <in> work. <laughs> define work. It depends on how you define work. I've done emails. <laughs> I've done stuff from the house. There's your job. I just gave you. A I've already. Well, I've done half of that already. Yeah, well, you're done now. And I get to do the other half, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Uh, so it depends on how you define work. Right. Hey, I've been taking care of a sick <laughs> wife, man, and, and, a, and a post-surgery okay, wife. Okay, so you've done husband yes, work. Uh, exactly. Right. Um, but, yeah, this very well could be my very first, like, out right, work. Right, I see Because I have a client, she's been sick. Mm. So I haven't really had to train anybody yeah. either. So, anyways. Um, I, I wanted to do a show on a New Year, though. Okay. Right? Because, you know, that's, that's a big deal, right? We all just had it. And, and. You know, every year I see people doing the same thing. Uh-huh. You know, New Year, New Me. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, you yeah. know, next year's going to be different. Yeah. And 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 people kind of blowing away the old year. Right. Which I will have to say that I was kind of on that bandwagon a little bit right. for a couple of the years, like 2016. Right. I, I didn't really like very much. Um, Which year didn't you like? 2016. Two, 2016. I was involved in your life in 2016. What didn't did you like, like you. about it? I just didn't like the year. There were some personal issues happening, some medical issues happening. It's just, it was a very rough patch, I, feel, I guess. Um, oh, but, look, look, look. <laughs> <yeah>. um, <laughs> but 2018, I actually kind of liked. You know, I didn't really, you know, I, it wasn't one of those years where I'm like, oh, I'm ready to start. I actually had a good time 2018. 18 was cool. Yeah, I liked it. So for those of you who didn't like it, I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah. Um, but going into 2019, I'm definitely fired up, right? I'm excited. Yeah. I think there's things to look forward to. Right. Um, there's more internal growth that I'm I'm hoping to do. Right. Uh, uh, there's you know um, you know my kids and, and with the business. I mean, I'm just I'm I'm excited about some things happening. Right. However, I want to talk about the whole New Year's resolutions and the whole New Year New Year New Me thing. Okay. All right. I don't know where you want to start. You want to start with resolutions? Or you want to start with the New Year New Me? Well, let's start with resolutions because we're not going to stay on that one long. <laughs> all right. Right? Because aren't we going into the- We're the going new, into the wall. Yeah. We're going to do everything, man. Oh, okay. All right. this, mm, don't get crazy now. <laughs> we'll slow down. This is a new Hold year. on, kids. A new Year's same as them because we're going to just make it up as we go along. All right. All right. All right. Uh, but anyways, all right. So the New Year's resolutions, right? Let's, let's, let's start with that, I guess. Okay. All right. So I have a fundamental issue okay. with New Year's resolutions. All right. I don't like New Year's resolutions. Why? Uh, for, for a multitude of reasons. Funny you should ask. 
<laughs> um, so I, I guess I'll start out with saying, number one, first and foremost, I don't like the whole waiting thing. Waiting. Meaning, if something's worth doing, why not do it now? Do it right now. Right? Like, uh, you know, yeah, obviously I've been in the health and fitness business for, for many, many years. Right. And, and together we're both in the, in the, uh, in the addiction world mm-hmm. as well. Um, and there's always this, oh, I'm going to. You know, I'm going to do this or, or I'm waiting for Monday, you know. Right. Um, it's like Tuesday. And you say, I'm going to start working out. Right. I'm going to start taking care of myself Monday. Like, really? Like, right, if, right. If it's right. worth doing, why are you waiting to do it, you know, all the way for the whole next week? It's not really that important, then, is it? I don't like that. I don't like the whole waiting till Monday thing. So basically, if it was that, if if, if it was such a an amazing goal and something so mm. important to you, right? Why are you waiting till the first? See, that's why I think people are doing it just because they feel you should do it. Like it's oh, it's New Year's. I should I should do something. So you don't think there's like an additional inspiration on certain days? Maybe psychologically, I think there is a, a, an inspiration. It, it could, could also be. be a delay tactic. Don't get me wrong. Exactly. But, but, well, here's but. an example, right? We just watched this amazing football game <laughs> right, last night. Right, right, right. Uh, uh, it's an analogy, but work right, with me here. Right, 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 right. So I'm working with you. We watched the championship last night. Yeah. And, and in- Awesome game, by the way. great game. If you, um, especially if you're a Clemson fan. Yeah, <laughs> or an anti- Or anybody that doesn't like exactly. uh, Bama. So anyways, so great game last night. Mm-hmm. But in sports, there's this thing called bulletin board material, right? Bulletin board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Meaning... Don't say anything controversial towards the other team because you're going to motivate them to go play. Right. And I used to buy into that. I right. used to be like, yo, that's, you know, wow, what are you doing? You shouldn't say that. Until I think it was either Jordan or LeBron. I can't remember. It was one of the two of them that basically said, if I'm not already fired up and motivated, I don't need to be playing this game. Right. Right? Because in theory. <laughs> but look at the two people you picked, by the way. Of course. But my point being, though. They're freaks of nature. Sure. But my point being is, is in these sporting events, that we're talking about yeah. with you know with uh, yeah. uh, bulletin board material, are you not already trying to win the, the most? I mean, you're making millions of dollars. You got a potential more millions of dollars. You got your your, your reputation. You got this this godlike status in, in theory, society. In theory, you're already kind of trying your hardest. In theory, so I but I do understand there's a slight psychological edge at times that might make you push just a little bit further. Do I think that translates into New Year, New Me? I think for some people, maybe initially at least. Y- y- well, there you go. And I think that burns out after a while. I think that's the ones that you see in the gym, for instance, on January right. 1st. Right. All the way till like January 30th, and then they disappear. Well, it's, it's nitrous, man. Yeah. It's a nitrous boost. I agree. I mean, uh, in, and I think the same thing with athletes. I think, they, you know, uh, it's a fast car. They're a fast right. car, but you hit the little button of a nitrous boost, and you get an extra bolt of, it, but, uh, what do you call it, a burst of energy right. for a specific amount of time. But it... But it I would tend to, to lean towards that feels fake to me. Like it's not really you're not motivated intrinsically. Well, it's just not. It's not sustainable. No, typically. No, it's not. Just, just like it, look for an athlete to perform championship level or playoff or Super Bowl level every game. You can't. Do it's that. not sustainable. Yeah, they'd be no injured way. and and they'd be they, they they wouldn't be able to play for very many years, right? <clears throat> sure. Okay, so now take that into our life, our regular life. Right. If we performed at maximum peak level every day it might do this very burn well you do this burn you out too sure. well it's all work no play syndrome essentially you don't feel like you're you're uh you're doing making the quote-unquote you know, right decisions all right. the time you're not really goofing off right. and having fun and, and, not, and not to make this political because i'm not but someone like a donald trump of the world is is at maximum level all the time he's working all the time whether you like it or not whether you like it or not i mean we don't have to like it <laughs> but the point is is that those kind of people that work like him that sleep like four to six hours a day, and they work from the moment they wake up to the time that they go right. to sleep. That's not a sustainable life. That's not a life I want. No, I don't. Want, I wouldn't want to work. That's a that lot of work, of man. Um, but I, I guess that kind of leads me into my next thing, though, about resolutions. Right. The thing that I've noticed sometimes, uh, the reason why I think some resolutions don't make it, right. and maybe you guys can relate to this, maybe you can't. Um, how many people out there are making New Year's resolutions? A, because they think that they just should because it's right. going to a new year. Right. And B, they're making resolutions on things that they think they should have, not things that they actually want. You really believe that? I think some people do. They I think, should have. I, I think okay. there's people out there looking Explain. looking around at society okay. and saying, I should you know, eat a little healthier. I should you know, work a little bit harder. Or I should right. I should do these things because you're comparing, okay. you're comparing you your... Me. Your things to other people, and you're like, mm-hmm. I should do this stuff. You're reeling me in, and so you start a resolution mm-hmm. saying, I'm going to do these things. Okay, but you didn't really actually want that. You're you're comfortable with your life as it is now. 
that so you're 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 not really going to go after that goal as hard because it's not really your goal. Or you're not fully it's, convinced you really need it. Yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to have. Oh, of course. I but mean, you may I think not we would all you need it. Absolutely. Um, and I, I think that's part of the issue with New Year's is I think people get kind of caught up into the whole New Year's resolution thing and they look around and they see other people and they're uh, because it's a new year right. we've been kind of led to believe the new year new me thing right right right, right. That we you know this fresh start I'm gonna, I'm gonna start over you know like yeah. but and that's the next point is you're really not starting over yeah right like let's let's go ahead and crash that myth right now right. it's not a new you it's the same you. Same you as yesterday. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> December 31st you and the, right. and the January 1st you is the exact same you. It, it's right. Now, that's not to say that you can't kind of change your mindset. That is, that's not to say that you can't have a different yeah. perspective or a different approach. But don't get it twisted. The same strengths and weaknesses you right. had yesterday are the same strengths and weaknesses you had today. That's probably the most powerful point that you've made. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the fact. It's not. It's not. You're a new bringing year. in all your old baggage. Yes, good and bad. Good and bad, and and you. Plus, you don't want to start over anyway. It took a lot to get the yes. wisdom that you have. Yes, it took a lot of stuff. Dude, starting over it means I'd have to forget every lesson I've ever learned. Yeah. No, I'm good. No, I don't want to do that. No. <laughs> no, I might do the exact same thing over and over again. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I've worked too hard <laughs> right. to get to where I'm at now right. to just throw it all away. Not going to happen, bro. Um, <laughs> right. But that's why. I, I mean, that's why I don't. I'm not a big fan of the New Year's resolution right. stuff. I'm really not. Well, like Katie said, she's doing goals instead of resolutions. So what is the big deal? And, and you know, when we did uh, the Couch Live uh, Friday, um, yeah. Chris said she's call, she calls them intentions. So Chris Lowe that's not, calls that's them nice. intentions. Katie's bad. calling them goals. The world knows them as resolutions. What are, what are the differences between all those three things? Well, I mean, I think they're semantics. I think they're all kind of the same thing. Right. Um, although one could say... So what makes the them word, psychologically different, I guess? The, the word resolution mm-hmm. is, is is kind of more of a, a um, I'm changing me kind of a thing. I'm changing who I am. Okay. As opposed to me. Once again, this is all perspective, I guess. It's all subjective, but... You know, I'm resolute in something. Like I'm, I'm. This is this is what drives me as a person, okay. as opposed to a goal. I'm not really changing my behavior as much. I'm just trying to obtain something. And okay. I think those are that's where the differences come into play. Okay. I don't mind goals, at all. Like uh, the goals, I'm actually I'm very pro goal oriented. Like I, right. I think that, I think uh, uh, you you have to have goals. You have to have something to shoot for. I agree with that. Right. But the problem with the goal setting, in which Nice segue into our, our other topic. Right, right. We're all over the place in just case. You know. No, we're not. Same show. No, we're not. But um, but no, my problem with the, the, the whole goals is nobody knows how to set goals anymore. Right? Like, they don't really teach that as much in school. And so you have a couple mistakes people make when it comes to setting goals. You have, first and foremost, uh, uh, you, you need to have specific goals. Right. Right? And so when I say about specific, uh, uh, being coming from my background mostly in the fitness world, the goal that I heard so much, and I still hear it, right. I'm going to eat healthier. Okay. The problem with that is okay. what does that mean? Right, right, right. I'm going to eat healthier. I kid you not, dude. Well, I'm definitely not eating tofu. <laughs> but who's to say that's even healthier, right? It all depends on your <laughs> definition of what's healthy. <laughs> right. My point being. Don't you have your Reiki appointment after this? Oh, my God, no. Oh, so you won't piss some people <laughs> off. Um, no, I. Uh, 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 I'm just messing with you. <laughs> so the the I'm gonna eat healthier goal. I kid yeah. you not, dude. I did a program for somebody one time, right? Uh, where I wrote down uh, uh, kind of what their dietary guidelines are gonna be and all this stuff right. to get where they wanted to be. Right. When I gave it to them, I kid you not, they asked me if they could have a bunch of Snickers bars as long as they were almond because almonds were healthier than oh peanut butter. God, Peanuts. That's a, that's a great question. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's my point. If you don't make it specific. I love then, Snickers. You, then we are the we are the best liars to ourselves, right? Well, hell yes, we lie better than anybody to ourselves. Yes, and so, and you'll justify some of the craziest shit you can. Yes, to justify your actions and your behavior. It's mandatory, absolutely. So if you don't create something specific, you can say I'm going to eat healthier. Okay, well, you know, last month I only had you know one helping of broccoli. Right. This month I had two helping. There you go. Yeah. Mission well, accomplished. Well, that goal is just it. It's, it doesn't mean it doesn't say anything. No. So it's not. So it's not measurable. You're you're well. That's the and next. It's one. not specific. It's got to be specific. All right. It's got to be challenging right. yet obtainable. Right. And that's the other thing, right? right? So challenging yet obtainable. 
uh, a goal of I'm going to wake up tomorrow. It's not really challenging. Yeah. You know, it's kind of it's going to happen. I don't know about Unless that. Unless something else happens. I don't know it's about that. Happen. Not if you don't eat healthier. You'll still wake up tomorrow. <laughs> you don't know that. Yeah. You might not. I put my money on you waking up tomorrow. Thank God. Um, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, from so, your ears. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's got to be ch- it's got to be challenging, but it's also got to be obtainable. Yeah. So for instance, when somebody comes to me, you know, in the, in the weight loss world and says, "Hey, I want to lose a hundred pounds mm. by next month," mm. that's challenging for sure, but it's also not obtainable. It's not going to happen unless you maybe get divorced or something. <laughs> you know, like you start cutting off limbs. Okay, and, yeah. And you, sure. But realistically speaking, it's not obtainable. So you're setting yourself right. up for failure right. because you're not making a goal that you're going to actually obtain. I think we should back up a sec. All right, let's back up. I think we should I back told up. you we're all over the place. Yeah, yeah and, and the reason we need to back up is because if we're going to talk about goals, yeah, if we're going to talk about- Instead of resolutions. Right. If we're going to talk about goals, then first you need to reevaluate where you're at. Oh, and so be honest that, with yourself. Right. So when you say, I'm going to blankety, whatever it is- right. You have to first know what your baseline is. What has been your baseline? Where are you factually at? Yes. Once you know where you're factually at, then then do a goal. Well, I would say in between those two steps, find out what you actually want. Right? In other words... That's that's another layer. Yeah, because I think a lot right. of people make goals based yeah. upon what others want for them yeah. and, or what they think society says they right. should be mm-hmm. as opposed to what they want. Right. For instance, let's stick with the weight loss, for instance. Right. If somebody's happy and they're comfortable and they're maybe like 30, point, 30 pounds overweight, Me. right? Uh, 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 does society say that they need to have like washboard abs? And right. to, of course it does. Right. Do do we all kind of secretly want to be 4% body fat? Probably. No, my kid's Snapchat says that I need to lose weight, but I'm perfectly <laughs> sure. happy with but, my belly. And, and that's my point, though, is if you're in a situation where you're good, you're comfortable with right. it, why make that goal? It's not really your goal. Just because... You know, your friends and family think maybe, or or uh, society, or whatever. If that's not really your goal, stop. Right. Stop lying to yourself. Stop acting like you really want something when you don't. Mm-hmm. If you're not willing to do whatever it takes to get there, you don't really want it. Yeah. I mean, let's just be honest. And you're not most of the time. Like in the in the fitness world, I, yeah. I keep bringing that up, but just because that's what most people's goals right. are, and that is, you know, there's a meme I used to post on my Facebook a lot, and it was, uh, uh, I'm willing to do anything to lose weight except for eat right and, and exercise. Right, because those right. are people who are buying every equipment, right, right, right. every pill they get, everything other than just yeah. restrict some of your your caloric intake and burn a little bit more. That's well, all you got to do. Well, to be honest with you, that's what I tell Dana. I I, I said I, I'd be nice. It'd be nice to be in shape, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just not. I'm not, yeah. I'm not into it that much. If I was invested that much, I would do it. Well, it'd be nice to win the lottery too, but I don't buy tickets. I don't buy tickets, so I'm not invested in it. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Katie just said her son has a curse jar. He heard you say shit, so he says you owe him a quarter. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I couldn't have a curse jar. So my you house. cursed, and she went off of mine to go tell you that. <laughs> you I like that. Uh, well, her son apparently says I owe him a quarter. Uh, well, I got like five bucks in my pocket, so let's just keep it going. Well, just repeating that, you owe him fifty cents. That's right. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get more. You said it again. Um, but anyways, uh, um, but yeah, I think that's part of it, right? Is, right. is you, you do have to have an honest assessment of where you're at, right? Of you know uh, uh, what what path am I on, right? You know, we did a great show um, a while back on personal growth mm-hmm. that, that I think we're going to touch on a little bit when we do uh, the, the best life thing. Mm-hmm. Is I think that, that in today's day and age, I do think a lot of people are out of touch with where they're currently at. Okay. Like, I think they think that they're at a certain area, and maybe the, the, the people around them might have a different perspective on where they're currently at. Right. You know, I know a lot of people who think that, I'm doing great. Yeah. Uh, Maybe not so much. Maybe not as great as you think. You yeah, are. maybe maybe there's some more room for improvement than what you're 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 right. you're considering there. Um, and I think that that is why I said it to be at the top of the show. One of my goals always is and always will be more personal growth. Like mm. I want to continue to grow. And, and so and, and to me, there's no pressure on me. I don't have a specific date. Right. I don't have a specific area. I just want to continue to grow. Yeah. And so throughout the year, I look for ways to grow. Whether it be reading things, asking questions, talking, watching things, whatever mm. it may be. I try to learn something as I'm going. I don't want to be the same me that I was yesterday. Right. Right? In other words, it's not a new year, new me, but it's the, as we said on the, on the couch, it's the next chapter. Yeah. Right? It's the next chapter of my life. And you can even call it day by day as a chapter, right? Because yesterday's gone, you know, and That's today's it. here. Um, but yes, I think you have to have an honest assessment of where you're at. Yeah. I think you have to have an honest assessment of what you really want. Right. Not what other people want for you. Whatever, what, like, and, and I think that oftentimes What that, sounds nice. <laughs> yeah. What sounds nice is not necessarily always what you actually want. Right. I think that you know, like uh, uh, 
but I, even then, I think I think that's one of the huge factors, if you will, is if something's successful or not. Did you really want it? Well, you, hey, look, brutal honesty is one of those things that's just really important for for self improvement. If yeah. you're not going to be brutally honest with yourself, yeah. then you're not going to improve anything about yourself. I mean, no. it, it's almost like, uh, look, you're married just like I am. Yeah. How many times do we get asked, "How does this look?" You get ready to get asked. Does Angel ever ask you, or is she just she's so um, sick of the way you answer, she doesn't ask you anymore? She doesn't really ask me anymore. <laughs> My answer is usually the same. It looks fine. <laughs> That's not what a woman wants to hear. No, she that's almost like that commercial that says it's going to be okay. You're going to have an okay tattoo. <laughs> I love those commercials, yeah, by the that, way. Yeah, that, that's fine. My favorite was the doctor one. Yeah, um, exactly. Guess who got reinstated today? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. The, my answer is usually the same. Is oh, it looks right, fine. Right. I mean, if something looks absolutely horrible, I might. I won't say. Oh, that looks horrible. What's wrong with well, you? Well, the thing is, is that that question doesn't. You really don't want to know. No, I, I because think, you know you have eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, what you should say is, "This is how that question should be asked." By the way, <laughs> if women want to be honest, do this. I feel that this outfit makes me look blankly blank or or accents right. this, and I really do not so sure about that. Do you also think that that's what it does? Because right. everything else is a setup. <laughs> yeah, I'm here watching a game or something. My mind is in the fourth quarter. <laughs> right. When you came up to me and asked me what that looks like to you, there's only one answer that's going to make me or allow me to watch that football game the way I'm watching that football <laughs> game, and that's to say, you look hot, babe. <laughs> sure. That's, that's sexy. If I don't sure. say that, if I don't give her hungry eyes and tell her how great it is, whatever I'm watching or whatever I'm doing, right. you might as well just hit pause and just delay it for a while because you're not getting back to it. And that would be the brutal honesty part. And later on, you're going to hear about it again. Of course. Of course. So you have to be brutal. In other words, the only reason I bring that up, and Dana does look great in all that stuff, but what I'm sa- I use it as an example because, to me, there's, a, there's, there's an honest question and dishonest question. And, and that's another Dharma Time show that we need to do in, in the future. Yeah. Honesty and dishonest questions. Yeah, well, I agree. Uh, I agree in the sense of, uh, uh, you know, one of my hardest things, if you will, that I had right. like growing up, or not even growing up, I guess, but... Uh, in my metaphor, metamorphosis as, as, as who I am. <laughs> is that a 2019 word? Yeah, right. It's a word of day calendar. Um, no, part of my journey, if you will, was was being honest with myself, right? Mm-hmm. Like, um, I was a bit of a dick back in the day, man. I was, yeah. I was really kind of seventy five cents. Yeah, I was really mean. Well, that's not a cuss word, I don't think. But anyways, um, I was really mean. I was really yeah. inconsiderate. I, right. I was very non compassionate, non empathetic around people, and, and I, I I justified my anger. Right. And, and trust me, I had amazing justifications for it right. that made total sense to me. Right. Not so much to the people around me. Right. You know, they had a disagreement with, with if it was justified or not. Right. But for me, there had to be a point in my life where I had to look and be really honest with myself. Like, you know, I know I justified it, but is that really a justification for what I just did? And the answer was no half the time. And so I had to kind of make that growth. Right. And so I think a lot of people, you know, they justify to themselves that they are living their best life. You know? Right. Are you? You know, are you really? Is it? It could get no well, better. Don't than give that? them next week's show too soon. I don't know if it'd be next week's, but, oh, but, okay. but it could be. Who well, don't give them a future Stay show tuned. too soon. Um, my point is, though, is is we're not honest with ourselves a lot. Right. We do tell ourselves, "I want this thing," or "These are my goals." No. I'm going to do what it takes. You know, I don't need to work on that area. Like <clears throat> that's why I'm. I that's why my goal is I want a personal growth. My well, my life. My goal isn't sp- like physical tangible things right. my life is i want to get better well i have a response to that uh, based on what you just said actually what's that you know how you just said that back in the day or before you uh, thought one way and then you had to get honest with yourself yeah here's what i'd say to that yes that's a, that's an obvious and larger transition in life and we sure. all have well sure. we hopefully all have we at least one it. larger transition <laughs> in hope. your life but I continue to do that because there's still things that I know by history, by looking back in history and knowing there's always a time period where I go, God, I thought like that, now I think like this. I thought like that, now I think like this. I thought that must mean that today I'm justifying things that even still I don't see. Absolutely. So my current goal right now is to seek out things that I still justify. Because if, if I think that, I know the things that I that I'm still uh, uh, hesitant to change, or the reservations that I do have. Right. 
then I'm wrong. What I know from history is that there's things that I have reservations about that I cannot see right now, that I am absolutely not admitting to, and that I'm absolutely being dishonest to myself about. And the only reason I say that is by history. Yeah. Because I was so convinced otherwise before. Well, I I think that's the... You know the. I think that's what comes with wisdom, right? Is is right. is this this um, almost like hedging your bet kind of a thing of right. I might not be right here. Mm-hmm. You know when we start to approach situations right. like I'm a hundred percent right, right, and there's no room. No, I'm dead right. Uh, even Michael Jordan missed a couple shots, bro. Like nobody's that perfect. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I agree. Like wow. I do my best to try to approach a situation that maybe I was wrong in that situation, or maybe I could have handled it better. Or maybe I could have done this better. And that's what my goal is, is to, to grow as much as I can to where I do handle each new situation better than I did previously. Right. Uh, and so to me, that's my journey, if you will, to my best life. Um, and, and that's <laughs> You really want to do that show today, don't you? No, you just got to stuck on my head. You said it earlier, so now it's like it's going to keep repeating in my head until we do it. That was a show topic for I, later. We'll do it. We'll do Stop it. Stop it. Um, <laughs> anyways. Uh, You're on goals and stuff. We are on goals. Uh, well, so we, you, uh, we were on the, uh, the the track of saying you have to be honest with yourself, completely honest with where yourself, you're at. or else, or else, or else, whatever goal oh, you set uh, up. Here's a tr- here's a good one. Here's a good one. <laughs> this is going to piss some people off. I'm sure it's going to make uh, give some people do, do what uh, you got to do. Do what you got to do. So not only should you be honest with yourself and where you're at, yeah, we should be honest with yourself and where your relationships are at as well. Mm. That's a big one, mm. right? How many how many people are in mm. a bad relationship right now? Convinced that it's going to get better tomorrow or something like that. Or right, don't make people break up today. No, I'm don't, not trying to make people break up. Yeah, you are. No, you're getting no, close because we've all been through it. You, yeah. you all got to work through it. Somehow. You made you made somebody look at their partner right now, but it might not be their partner. <laughs> it might be them. <laughs> Just saying. My point being is is we make justifications not only for ourselves but for our loved ones too. So you got to be honest. Like, where am I at? How am I dealing with situations? Yeah. How are they dealing with situations? Yeah. Is my way working? Is their way working? Like, you got to evaluate things. Right, and so once you've evaluated, and yes, you have a a a, a, a base of where I'm at. Yeah. Then you got to decide what's really important to you. Of course. Like, what do I want? Right. Really want? Not what society wants. Not what my my neighbor keeps telling me, or my best friend, or my mom, or my. What about my doctor? What about who cares? You know what? I got sick of hearing what my doctor wants. I stopped going to the doctor. <laughs> what about that? Hey. Uh, All he's gonna do is tell me I have high blood pressure. I should work out and eat better. I don't want to hear that again. Then maybe you should work out and eat better then. But you obviously I don't, don't want, want that. You don't want it. So as, as long as it's working I for you, don't go for want it. that. But at least you know that. So you're not lying to yourself and saying that you do. That's what I'm saying. I'm so, I'm so really honest with myself. I'm cool with it. But they're, they're, until the day you're not cool with it. Until the day I won't know that day. Until the day you're in the hospital for like a week for high blood pressure. Like, I really should have eaten better. Best thing that can happen to some people is a, is a, is a near tragic yeah. death. Uh, you know how many clients I had Look, came to me after a hospital visit? Listen, man. Oh, yeah. It, it, just like in the drug and alcohol world. It wakes you up real a quick. A bad incident or something really horrible sometimes really helps you yeah. redefine your life a little it's bit. It's called a teaching moment. I need some more teaching moments. I need a teaching moment we in health. Do. So I probably need like a little mini stroke or like a little heart attack. Oh, see, now, you, now, now you're going into my world a little bit and you're but using words that I hate. I hate the word mini stroke, by the way. Is it, is it, is it not a real thing? It's a stroke, man. I know, but is it a mini stroke? Is there a real no. thing? No. It is not. It's either a stroke so I just or made not it a up? stroke. That's like saying I got a little gunshot. It's a gunshot. Well, a little gunshot is like from a BB. That's not a gunshot. Haven't you ever been shot a by a BB? Shot. That's a BB shot. That's, That's a, a little gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, it should be all right, a BB every right. time you want. So I want a stroke with no damage. Is that better for you? <laughs> I want a stroke <laughs> with no <laughs> damage, or I want a heart attack with no death. Oh, is, that, is that okay with you? Sure, go for it. Well, because I think that'll that help you. That'll make you stop eating Tabasco and chips. I would hope I'm not the dude in a <laughs> hospital bed sneaking in, <laughs> just eating away. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's all i'm saying yeah, the person in the cancer ward smoking cigarettes <laughs> like, Dude, i don't care the person that's smoking with an oxygen tank yeah oh god that's horrible you know what i mean <laughs> katie says you can't quit tacos you i'm can't. not quitting tacos no, you need to quit tacos that's you know i'm not quit. i go to a mexican doctor he'll never tell you that <laughs> yeah <Don't. laughs> you just gotta stop eating the flour ones you gotta eat the corn hey, ones. yeah i'm never going to a non-mexican doctor if they're gonna start telling me to stop eating tacos sure Screw that. Uh, but uh, but My no, dad's uh, doctor told him not to eat red sauce. Red sauce? Yeah. What's, is that a thing? Yeah, like all the Italian food. Really? 
Yeah. Was it because of sugar? He's got something? some stomach issues. No, man. He's got some oh, stomach and throat sucks. issues. Uh, he's got that throat cancer thing. And oh, he's got stomach. Jesus. They won't let him eat reds. I'm like, forget that. I'm not going to that doctor. To, to, uh, the acidity from the tomato paste yeah, or yeah, something? Yeah. Well, that sucks, man. Yeah, screw exactly. Um, You're fine until you go to a doctor who tells you not to do it anymore. <laughs> right. It's like, don't uh, come to me uh, as a counselor. Unless right. you want to talk about your drug and alcohol, yeah, well, you same do. Stay away from me. I, I was the the I was that fitness guy. And I was like, you know, yeah. even, even still to this day, yeah. you don't want to work out. Don't go to Trinity. People will say to me like, oh, well, I can just walk. Walking, yeah. no, yeah. walking's not going to help yeah. you lose weight. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a reason everybody that Trinity and I haven't worked out together because <laughs> yeah. I don't want to work out. Um, but so once you've established your baseline, once you once you've established what you actually want. That's when it comes time to actual physical goal setting, mm-hmm. right? And so, first and foremost, I will say that I'm a I'm a huge believer in right. uh, uh, vision boards. I think they work. Yeah, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be like old school arts and crafts where you get a poster board and put, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. Well, you're saying be, that because you got Miss Artist at your house. She could like do a whole mu- <laughs> a whole mural on one of your walls. Yeah, well, she has actually. <laughs> um, but what I'm getting at is like uh, a vision board is is something as simple as Jim Carrey wrote himself a million dollar check. You know, and he said he was going to cash it. I've written stuff down in my in my in my my notes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like what I'm saying is, it's got to be physical. Right. Don't just think it, because thoughts thoughts come and go. I thoughts like that. It's got to be physical. Things. I like that. I like that. When you think of something, you know, it's like the wind; it can come and go. Right. But when you when you when you write it down, when you put it on a paper, when you right. put it on a vision, whatever it is, when you right. make it into the physical world, it has energy now. It it's real. physical. It's there. Yes. Yeah. Other people can walk up and be like, oh, there it is. I see it. It's yep. real. And you're more likely to adhere to it when you have it right in front yeah. of you. Yeah. Um, so m- make your goals physical. That's why the corny stuff works. It does. It's, yeah. That's why the, cliche things become cliche because they say it so much because they work. Yep. Um, the next one, which we've already kind of established, was they have to be specific. You know, they have to be. You have to. Uh, uh, I don't know if we've established that. We haven't established. It. No, and okay. it, because all right. So you take what we talked about about being honest with yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, let's say, honest with yourself is that I am fifteen pounds overweight. Okay. So specific would mean you take that number and then deduct it. I want to be 15 pounds less or something like that. Not necessarily. The number. That's specific. Not necessarily. That's not specific? That's a, that's a form of being specific. That's a specific goal. Now, the objective on how you get that or the, the, the method on how you get that, that's a different specificity. Okay. Right? I'm going to walk, you know, 10,000 steps right. a day. Right. You know, whatever. That's sure. specific. So um, I don't know if we've covered speci- specificity. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I'm trying um, to 2019. <laughs> new words, new me. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, uh, um, I'm, I'm trying to think uh, of, like, like, okay, I have so people. besides weight loss, what well, it, was, I, I was that Even with the weight loss thing, oh, okay, right? Okay, okay. We'll stick to that one. Okay. Just because it's easy. I think most people can relate to that one. Okay. Um, with the weight loss, like, if I have somebody who, who is, like, 100 pounds obese, right? Right. I'm not going to say to that person, your goal is to lose 100 pounds, even though technically that is the long-term goal. Uh, that would, yeah, that's that's a yeah. that's a long-term. So it is still a goal. It's just yes. long-term. Well, that's we haven't got to that point right. yet, but you have short-term, mid-range, and long-term goals. Right, right. So aside from being specific, which they have to be specific, you can't just mm-hmm. say, I want to lose weight, right. or I want to be healthier, I want to eat healthier, or I want to do whatever. It can't be this big, broad goal, because you'll, you'll lose... You go take a dump and, and be two pounds lighter and be like, oh, I lost weight. I'm done. You know, so We'll lie to ourselves and convince us. We'll take the path of least resistance easily. Two pounds? I don't know, man. It's just a number I made You're up. You're a big boy. <laughs> I am a big boy. I don't know. I've never weighed it, so I don't know. You're full of it. Um, <laughs> well, not if I went because it's gone. Anyways, um, so uh, it has to be specific and, and it has to be measurable. That's another one. The, the key word there is measurable. Meaning, what does it look like? How do I how do I determine I did it? How do I hold myself accountable? Is what I'm getting right, at. Right. There has to be some built-in accountability. Right. So, for instance, the person who needs to lose a hundred pounds, right? I wouldn't say to them, "Go out and lose a hundred pounds right. and call me next week." Right? No, I would say, "All right, uh, keep it in mind. It has to be challenging. It has to be obtainable. It has mm-hmm. to be specific. It has to be measurable." Right. I would say, "Hey, uh, do you think uh, that you can give me thirty minutes of activity?" Two or three times this week. Yeah, I could do that. I think most reasonable people can do that somehow. It doesn't have to be 30 minutes in a block. Just 30 minutes throughout the day. I got that beat. I'm just saying. So uh, uh, it's built in, right? It's, right. it's challenging. If right. you're 100 pounds obese, 30 minutes of activity is going to be challenging for you. Yep. But it's obtainable. You can do it. Right. 
So it's challenging. It's obtainable. It's specific because I gave you the exact amount of time, the exact amount of days. Uh, an activity? <laughs> no. Okay. So um, you have to define activity. Sure. Um, and then uh, uh, um, it's measurable. Either you did or you not. So that's like half a, the bag. That's a perfect goal. Sure. Um, well, let me let me let me tell you why that's sure. an issue, though. Well, what's an issue? That that whole thing that you just said about okay. a, a week. The reason, look, if that's a short term goal. Addiction recovery has taught me goal setting on a professional level. Okay. Because I had a sponsor that said in between the tick and the talk, right? right. Now, what that really meant was right now, today. Yeah. So, I th- when I when I assist people with goal setting, right. I can't even use a week. I got to deal with yeah. The fitness Monday, goal is a bit than like the, uh, I like, it's better yeah. to break down specific days. Monday, in other words, if I'm going to say you got to work out two to three times a week, right. it's better to say specific days. Because so, in counseling, you'll say you're going to come here Monday, right. you're going to come here Wednesday, and you're going to come here Friday. Right. I'm going to see you Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at blankety blank and time. That's where the honesty part comes in. And so, so if you're very that specific, when you get that specific yeah. to actually putting your days together. Because there's a reason that Weight Watchers for so many years has worked for the people that are are, are, are really stuck to it. Yeah. And the reason is, is because it's a daily plan. Um, yeah, I think well, that's where, that's where the, the uh, uh, being honest with yourself comes into play. Right. Some people are more motivated than others. Some people have different program adherence than others. Um, I definitely wouldn't, com- I wouldn't uh, compare uh, a weight loss journey to an addiction journey by any means. Because the thing with the... the Why not? Oh, well, because a weight loss journey, one of the hardest things about weight loss for a lot of people mm-hmm. is you're working out today for results that you're not going to see for months. Same thing with recovery. Um, yes and no. The thing that pains you, I could be you, sober today. No, like, but, I could but, not drink today, right? Yeah, but that's not. But that's not the. That's not. That is a a uh, a superficial goal. The real goal is still keeps you going. Is no? to change the insides that that had me craving to use in the first place. Right. If I work on changing the things that had me crave in the first place, then the drugs and I, I'm just not going to do them anyway. Yeah, but do you think day one that's what they're looking for? No, but it, they're looking but, for just not to be sick right now. No, they're looking to be happy. I'm looking. No, they're looking to be happy. I want to like my life. I want to actually want to live. I want. I want to stop being so well, scared. I want to stop being so depressed. I want to stop being so frustrated with life. But that's not going to happen day one. Exactly. And Same thing, like you're not going to lose 100 pounds in day what one. I, what I'm getting at is... I think they are comparable. Um, I, I, I see where you're going. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and on one hand, I can kind of agree with that. On the other hand, I just have... Like, there's something tangible you can get where you can look back and be like, look at that. In other words, uh, if you go a whole day without drinking, for instance. If you're the type of person that was just drinking nonstop day in and day out, right. and then you made it Monday, no drinks... That's a win. Like, that's a win in the win column. Uh, you're sober now. Like, that's an actual, your body's responding to being sober right now. What? To where it's working out, you could work, you go out and jump on the, you know, working out for an hour, jump on the scale, nothing is well, going to change. Well, you don't, don't jump on the scale, but the fact that you worked out an hour, that's your win. That's just redefine what the win is. I agree, and that's what my job don't, is don't, as a Don't put the win in, in the scale. I agree. Um, that's my job as a professional is to get them to change that definition. The sad part is... That's where everybody's at. They want to see. By the time they get to me, by the time they get to mm-hmm. a trainer, mm-hmm. they've tried everything under the book. They're so depressed. They're so uh, down on themselves, thinking that they're worthless. They can't do it. Right. Then they everything is defined by yeah. But how much weight did I lose? Same thing in the addiction world. They they want to, they want they want they think if they if I just didn't drink today, everybody should be happy. No, you're still right. acting like a jerk off. It, it, I can see that. You know what I'm saying? So, so there's there's things that you need to change other than just not use. Same thing with 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 people that are overweight. You don't just need to lose weight. There's 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 cravings there. There's issues right. there. Yeah. A lot of people with weight issues, by the What's way. Waiting? Yeah, oh, of course. That's why they're very similar. Of course. Look, everything human comes back to emotion. My so, hardest my hardest thing though in the in the weight loss world mm-hmm. was dealing with that emotional component with clients is. Is convincing them to keep going even though mm-hmm. that scale's not budging. With all humans. That's the hardest thing for me to do. Uh, in the addiction world, I've mm-hmm. at least been able to tell those same people, hey, look, man, you've already got five days clean. Like You've, mm-hmm. you've been successful for these yeah. five days. And and they, they take it internally a little bit differently than the weight loss right. client does. The weight loss client's like, yeah, that's my problem is I've been working my butt off doing these things and not eating anything, and I haven't lost a single pound. 
it's a very hard thing to get them to change the definition of win. There, there's there's different little things, but emotion is always the key factor in moving yes, forward in your life. I agree. So reevaluating that emotion, creating goals based on that emotion of where you're at for real, and that's where the and where do you want to feel, and then what make it measurable, like like you said, yeah. make it attainable. Yes. You know, I like micro goals better than macro goals. Yeah, you know, well, that's... Like uh, they have to be right now. What are you doing today yes. to meet the goal that you just set? Yes. That that was... Uh, um, in, in some of my cla- my groups, if you will, I, uh, I did this exercise with them uh, where I would say, okay, we have a goal. Because I was trying to get them to understand the difference between long-term, mid-range, and short-term goals. Mm-hmm. And short-term goals could be as short as a, as a second. Right. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. And, or as short as, you know, a week. It mm-hmm. kind of depends on where you're at and what you need. So a lot of them, um, and, and I told them another secret to, to some goal setting is to build wins in for yourself. Yeah. Meaning um, uh, the example I would I would always use because it was a very, uh, uh, exa- it was an example everybody could relate to. It was easy to kind of come up with stuff. And that was you just graduated high school. You want to go to college. Mm-hmm. How do you, gra- your long-term goal is to graduate with a four-year degree. How do you make that happen? Yeah. What's your short term goal? And and then they would all think too big for right, short term. Right. And I was trying to get them to understand, no, 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 make it small. So they would come up with short term goals like, you know, get accepted to a college or whatever. I was like, oh, oh, back up. Even smaller than that. What is something you could do this week that I, mm-hmm. I like I can come to you on Friday and be like, did you get this done? Yeah. How about how about find the, the schools that are even in your area? Right. Find out, you know, give me five colleges that are in your area. And I'll see you on Friday. You think you can get that done? Then they won't come to see you Friday. <laughs> yeah. They'll cancel. My point. My point today. was. Well, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm not I'm trying not to argue with you today. I'm just trying to say the only way to keep a goal going, sure, is you look at the people that have kept goals going. How do they do it yeah. today? Yeah, no, I agree. Every day they um, have a plan. The, the people that are highly successful don't do things by week or month or no. year. They do things by day. Yeah. Uh, no, I, f- my goal when I started my business was every single day I wanted to do something yeah. towards my. my and you got to reward yourself with something. Yeah. Look, like, you know what. You want to do something corny to really reward yourself? You know those gold stars that we used to get at school? Yeah, yeah. I never got those stupid you never got stars. Go- really? Mine was called Super Dude, Kid. I might have got one every time. once in a while, like uh, the little star. But you know how on the board they would have people, and yeah. I would always just have the yeah. fewest. And so then I just, screw the stars. What I'm saying, though, go do something corny for yourself. Sure. Go get a bunch of those gold stars, and every day right on. that you complete whatever goal you had, put a gold star on your mirror. I agree. It beca- like the helmets of the college players. Yeah. How cool is that? Oh, I love full those. Of stickers? I love those. Because that goes to the basic psychology that actually works. That we are approval hounds. Yeah. We love little rewards. You Absolutely. know why Candy you Crush wins, man. Yeah, Candy Absolutely. Crush, Angry Birds, all those little games. Why they're so addicting? Yep. Because you have these stupid little things that mean nothing. These little victories that really mean nothing. <laughs> yep. But they keep you going. But your brain loves rewards. Yep. Your brain loves victories. Yep. And that's why I tell them to build in little so wins. you got to do that on build a daily basis. In, yeah. yeah. Um, but the well, problem is usually we reward ourselves with what we're trying to avoid in the first <laughs> well, place. Well, that's the thing. That's don't the re- wrong reward. You're not a dog. Don't reward yourself with food. Yeah. You know, I hate that. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I did weekly is because I didn't see these people every week. <laughs> You're not a dog. <laughs> don't reward yourself. I like that one. That's, oh, they hated it when I told them that's that. That's a very good one. Uh, <laughs> we laugh about it now, but when yeah. I'm telling them to their face, they don't like that very much. <laughs> um, and, and the reason why I said I did weekly is because yeah. I didn't see them every day. So. Yeah. Um, and no, 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 no. To pay me? No, I, no, I get you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying um, you meant it like that. What I'm saying is that I want to remind people. No, that, I, I. That's why I said yeah. I, I agree that it should be on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, but for accountability purposes, they weren't paying me every day, so I didn't see them every day. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Um, <laughs> I love my clients, but I wasn't doing it for free. Me too. Um, anyways, uh, so th- it has to be uh, specific. It has to be challenging. It has to be obtainable. It has to be measurable. And then, like a, like we both said, you have to have short-term, mid-range, and long-term goals. I think the problem with some of the goals is, number one, yes, they don't build in wins. Nobody wants to, like, dude, nobody wants to go after a goal that just seems insurmountable. Nobody. And I don't care who you are. Uh, uh, we just watched this amazing football game. None of them. You know, what, you know what they all have in common? Game by game. That's it. We're just looking forward to next week. Yeah. You cannot. The idea of going 15-0 and 0 seems completely insurmountable. No, the week coach one. has that goal. That's yeah. the coach's job. Yeah. The players, 
have different goals. Yeah, and it's the coach's job. To, yeah. yeah, it's the coach's job to teach them day by day, man, to talk like this yes. and say this and yes. focus on this. And that's what makes a good coach a great coach. Yes, but that initial goal of I want to win the championship yeah. seems completely insurmountable yeah. when you're looking at it from day one. Right. But when you look at it as I want to make it through practice today. I'm going to go ahead and just do the best I can today. Yeah. And then this week, our opponent, whoever it is, right. we're going to play them today. And yeah. then when you get that one, great, on to the next one. Right. You know, you got to have wins, dude. This, right. If I tell a client that you got to lose 100 pounds, <laughs> they're going to walk out the door and tell me I'm crazy. Right. But if I tell a client, hey, can you give me 30 minutes of activity today? Yeah, yeah I could do that. Yeah. And then after yeah. they do that 30 minutes, well, you feel good, don't you? You Look, you mm -hmm. just did 30 minutes. When was mm -hmm. the last time you did that? Yep. Great. Now give me 30 minutes two more times this week on whatever days. And, you're, and then after like three weeks, you look back and like, oh, my gosh, look at how much I've done. Yeah, and you're well on your way to 100 pounds. Yeah. But from day one to say 100 pounds, that's insane. Nobody would want to do that. And yeah. so I think that with some of these New Year's resolutions, you have people saying, like, oh, I want to, like, I don't know, some of the big ones I hear is I want to lose weight, I want to quit smoking, you know, I want to achieve whatever, right. whatever it was. If all you focus on is that big goal, that yeah. long-term yeah. end goal, I give you about two weeks before you, like, screw this. Right. Even our dogs, dude, like I said before with the food, your dog, if you, all you do is rub your dog's face in it and, and when they poo right. or pee on the carpet and smack mm -hmm. them or something like that, mm -hmm. all you're teaching them is to be afraid of you. Right. That's it. But if you take them outside and you give them a tiny little reward every time they go poo or pee outside, guess what happens? After a while, they're like, yo, I want that again. I'm going right. to keep going outside. It's yeah. little rewards. And that's been proven over and over and over mm -hmm. and over again. Little victories help. Absolutely. It keeps you going, man. Yeah, you need you need a lot of those little victories. And and yes. the thing is, it's like, you know, just like with those coaches that we were doing the football analogy, yeah. is that that's why when there's a bad player or a person does something wrong, you'll see the coach get real upset. Mm -hmm. You're like, man, it was just one play. Yeah. And the players, like, sometimes don't even understand why the coach is so upset. Well, because the, the, the coach knows stagnant, being stagnant and not moving forward is actually moving backward. Yeah. So if you are not continually developing or growing from your last situation, yep. then you're actually moving backwards. Life is a downward escalator. It just is. <laughs> yeah. It's a downward escalator. Yep. If you stand still, you're actually moving backwards. You're yes. falling behind the times. Sears Roebuck. The reason it failed is because it stayed still. Yeah. It didn't grow and develop. Amazon kicked its butt. It it's like the butt. whole internet just kicked its butt. Yeah, but yeah. other companies still, yeah. you know, they try to fight at least. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the, the, so the point is, is you cannot stand still. You cannot, you know, uh, just because you've been successful up to this point with whatever you did doesn't mean you're going to be successful in this. Right. You got to figure out what's made you successful in whatever it was. And you got to take that skill and say, what was it about me that allowed me to be successful? In that? And then carry it forward. Use yeah. that energy that you want to win somewhere else. But even then, it has to be something you truly want. So I want. said the energy. I'm yeah. just saying the energy. Yeah. I'm saying even then, it has to be something you yeah. truly want. You better want it. You got to want it, man. Yeah. You, 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 like, you know, you got to have some passion behind you. I you fail have, many more things than, than oh, I succeed I, at. I think we all do. Yeah. I think we all fail more than we succeed. Yeah. It's just the successes feel so good, that's all we focus on. Yeah. And we forget, like, hold up, like, uh, you know, the Wright brothers, how many times right. did they crash before they got it right? You know, they didn't just roll out of bed and create the airplane. Right. Like, right. It's just not how it happened. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even walking, how many times did yeah. we fall, you know? I can't tell you the last time I fell, but I, I know starting out, I fell all right. the time. Right. So, I mean, I agree 100%, man. Um, right. But I kind of want to finish on the, the new year, new me thing. I don't think that gets talked about enough. I know we kind of mentioned it okay. earlier, but I'd like to finish our last couple of minutes on that before I do my little tips. Okay. Because I think philosophically that's something that, that um, I want people to remember. Because in that sense, I do I do kind of associate it with the work that we, we do in the addiction world mm -hmm. when somebody relapses. They think that they forget, you know, that they lost all that time right. now, right? This whole new year, new me, I hate when people say that because I, I think you're doing yourself a grave injustice. Mm. You're not giving yourself credit for everything you've learned. You're not giving yourself credit for all the work that you have done. Nobody's a complete failure. You mm -hmm. might have some things in your life that aren't going the way you wanted, mm -hmm. but you've also had a lot of wins. You know, <laughs> if you're upright and you're walking, you've succeeded in some things. First of all, you were born a winner. You were the yeah. fastest swimmer of a million millions. Fastest swimmer, man. Exactly. That's me. You were born a winner, so keep yeah. that going. Um, and so, but I think that people just don't give themselves enough credit sometimes. Right. Uh, you, you know, haven't I, got hit by a car. You're not dead by a car, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're alive, man, I, I think I posted because uh, my yeah. birthday's coming up, right? Yeah. I did a. Uh, uh, on uh, on Facebook, I did my my birthday as a uh, 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 fundraiser for right. the foundation, right? Right. And on there, I put, you know, I, I'm I'm breaking my personal best, my personal records of consecutive days alive. You know, like every yeah. day is a new record. Every day. Uh, and so you're successful. You know, like if you're alive, you're successful, Dude, man. Big you, time. You've made it through because there's a lot of people who died. 
And that doesn't mean go to a funeral and say, failure! <laughs> yeah, right. That'd be the wrong thing to um, say. But if you're alive, that's better than the alternative, right? You're living somebody's dream at the moment. Absolutely. And so I think this whole idea of new year, new me, um, I think it does set you up on a bad precedent. I think you're 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 discounting everything that you've, you've learned coming up to that point. Right. At the same token, you're also underestimating your 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 weaknesses as well because you didn't just leave those behind you can't just say okay i'm done all my weaknesses are gone you know it doesn't work that way all my shortcomings are over yeah you know like oh i left all my shortcomings in 2018 2019 those are all gone now you know I'm, it's completely no it's not and i'm right. pretty sure you can ask the people around you and they they would agree that no those aren't those aren't gone it yeah. doesn't work that way you some, gotta work some of them are dormant <laughs> but they Maybe. become active again <laughs> yeah um <laughs> just because the stimulus changed exactly. um but no, I, so I, I think that, that this whole new year, new me, I don't like it. I liked when we, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago on, on the couch, and that is, it's just the next chapter. I think yes, we had uh, Elise Saunders, right? Mm-hmm. Or, uh, mm-hmm. Was it? Yeah, it was yeah, right. Yeah. Um, it's just the next chapter. It's just the next next step in your evolution of who you are. Yeah. And, and I think that that's what we need to focus on. So new year, absolutely, but it's not a new me. It's the same me same coming man. into new year. I might have a different perspective. I might have different goals, uh, uh, different intents. As, as somebody else, I think it was you said it was Chris that said that. Mm-hmm. Intentions. Um, so I have different intentions. I like that very much. So my mm-hmm. intent is going to change. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not a new you. No. Like don't no. uh, don't discount that and don't fool yourself into thinking, you know, uh, an argument happened with somebody and you're like, oh well, it's a new me, so it couldn't be my fault. I, I don't do that stuff anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. Right. <laughs> you, know, you didn't work on that, so it's still there. Um, you got to do that intrinsic growth. You know, you got to work towards being the better you, basically. And I think, and I think that's why documenting what you said earlier, visualization and the vision boards and all that. Stuff, yeah. You know, diary sounds corny and all that stuff, but some sort of daily documentation, yep. um, or daily assessment, right. is 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 very successful. The reason I I, I bring it back to recovery is because in recovery you kind of have this 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 thought disorder that's working against you every right. day, right? right, all day long. So to work on a thought disorder that is so destructive to yourself and to those around you and is so against what you think you want out of your life that you kind of have to evaluate it every morning and night. So right. in the morning, it's good to do an evaluation of, of where you want to be you know, today and what you want to do today. And then at the end, it's good to just resolve it. Just right. where did I go today? What did I do today? So and it keeps you it keeps it fresh. It just keeps in and, and, and again, I say it. I learned it in recovery, but it, but it applies to everything sure. because it keeps everything within that 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 bookended period right. of morning and night. You know, so so when you say new me, well, no. All right. Well, yesterday, this is who I was. You know, I'm not a new person, but what is it that I can do today that's going to allow me to feel better about myself tomorrow? And that's where, obviously, I'm, I'm biased, but I think that uh, uh, what I've learned from myself, right. the the years that I feel the most successful, if mm-hmm. you will, mm-hmm. are the years that my my intent is is revolving around things that are bigger than me, like spiritual growth. Mm. Um, I'm obviously a huge proponent of spirituality. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't care how, how put together people are. If mm-hmm. you don't have some sense of spirituality, I think you're always going to be lacking something. You're always going to feel... Something's just not right. Um, and so I, while I think it's great to have goals and resolutions to obtain tangible items and, and uh, achieve a certain amount of success at your job or, or uh, you know, money, whatever it may be, I think those are all great. Mm-hmm. But what I've noticed for me is when my intent revolves around spiritual growth, mm-hmm. the rest of that stuff kind of just comes with it. Right. You know, because the spiritual growth gives me a certain peace inside that allows me to make better decisions throughout my life revolving around those particular subjects in other words when i feel more complete spiritually when i feel more at peace with who i am and then mm-hmm. and, and and my thought process that goes into my decision making right then i notice that in terms of finance or relationship or whatever i kind of just make the right decisions and i get what i want out of that you mm-hmm. know might not be to the extent that i would like but when, at the same token it's enough to make me content mm-hmm. you know i'm okay i'm not hurting for anything mm-hmm. um and so i'm a huge proponent of spiritual growth i really am yeah, I am too. Um, but if you had to ask me how to work on it, I, I I would struggle on how to work on it. What I would say is is the following: I think mine is developed through passion. I think by filling up my passion cup, my spiritual growth just kind of goes with it. So right. that grows with it. It's almost like practicing patience. There's <laughs> nothing I know how to do to practice patience. I practice simply it right now. Yeah, but if I'm in a situation that I want to run, I sit still, breathe a little bit, don't right. run, and all, next thing you know, I'm better at patience. Yeah. 
No, I like it. It's just, it's just it's little tiny mi- again micro goal. I've learned micro goals really well. Oh, those are so great though. You know, I love building and wins, man. <laughs> I, I hate I, to lose. I, I, I love just, to win I, though. I love wins and I, I love, love rewards, winning. bro. But that's also what allows me to lose because you know, in other words, why I'm such a good sport right. in gaming. Of all types, sport, whatever. You know, I may trash talk while we're playing, but at the end, I'm going to go over there and say, man, you played good, you did good, sure. and I could take the loss really well, was all because as long as I feel like microly, uh, microly, that's a new word of 2019. <laughs> if, like if, I, if I do what I, <laughs> bigly, if I have to do, I think he's saying big league. Uh, who knows? Yeah, but as long as I do what I, I want to do for the moment, then if, if, if I lost in the moment, then I lost in the moment. But right. I did what I felt I needed sure. to do at the moment. Absolutely. That was my best play. That was my best movement, and it just didn't give me the reward that I wanted. So the reward I have to give myself is lesson learned, pat on the back, move forward. Yeah, I that's my reward. Uh, where I'm at now, in my to life, not beat me up. I definitely focus more on my my thought process and decision making than I do the outcome. Right. I'm not as worried about the outcome as long as I made the best decision that I could right. using what was around me. Because th- it doesn't always work out in my favor, but I can still feel good about it. Like, people always ask me, "Have any regrets?" We, no, I mean I like where I'm at. I like. I can't regret something because I made the decision based upon what I thought was going to be best for me at the time. But you know why you can do that, Trinity? Why is that? Because you you know you can always be okay with the outcome. Yeah. You have a you have a yeah. belief and a confidence that regardless of the outcome, you're going to be okay. Well, that's for spirituality. So in. that's a big ba- that's a that's a net that a lot of people don't have. That's why I want them to have. Maybe yep. we should do a show or something. Yeah. We talk about those kinds of things. We should do a show called Dharma Time. Yeah, man. We help people kind of yeah. grow spiritually. So now I'm turning off my microphone. Finish oh, off crap. the last. We only got like a minute. Yep. Uh, let me thank the sponsors really fast. That's what helps us uh, do what we do. You can see them over my shoulder if you're watching on Facebook Live. Um, we have Retreat Premier Addiction Treatment Centers. It's a fantastic facility. We do a lot of work with them. We also have Journey Pier, another fantastic place with lots of different locations. Uh, so if you or anybody else you know is struggling with drug and alcohol addiction, both very worthy facilities. Um, we have the Orange County Drug Free Coalition. Uh, which we're getting ready to have a meeting, I think, sometime soon this month with our new uh, our new person because Carol's gone. Um, and last but not least, we have the Now Matters More Foundation, which I am the president. He is the uh, the founder, and we also help people find uh, uh, help uh, navigating the, the drug and alcohol world. And sometimes we're able to scholarship treatment. You can find out more about us at nowmattersmore.org. That's nowmattersmore.org or 833 Now Matters. That's 833 Now Matters. And yes, we do have a golf tournament coming up. We should be uh, rolling out the details of that soon. And before I run out of time, let me do my, my quick tips here to kind of give you an action plan for today's show. Uh, the first one I have is. Uh, uh, make sure any goals that you're going to try to set for yourself, make sure the goals that you actually want. Once you do an assessment of where you're at and assessment of where you want to go, make sure your goals are based upon what you want for yourself, not what you think you should have based upon what society's doing around you. Uh, the second one is if you, when you do kind of come across the goals that you're going to do, make sure you, they're, they're, they're challenging, uh, obtainable, uh, specific, measurable, and then don't forget to build in short-term, mid-range, and long-term goals. And last but not least, anything worth doing is worth doing right now. So, now that you know better, do better. Peace. He plans it all out. Just makes it up as he goes along. Human knowledge belongs to the world.